so we are up for another scan today. Are you going to see a little baby? Hopefully her face. It's going to be a 3D scan. I'm super excited to see her. See how much she's grown. She's put on a little bit of fat and she should look like a proper baby by now. And then also I'm going to do something about this stupid hair of mine. It is way too long. See? It's super long. It's um, look at that. It's um, probably very, very annoying for when baby comes along. It's going to get pulled on a lot anyway and it'll be in the way all the time. It already is anyway. So I'm thinking maybe something, maybe just something like that. Long hair be gone. Show him the other one. Aww. Aww. Cute. She looks like a real little baby. I did it. I went to the hairdresser. Oh, it's shorter. <laughs> so much lighter though. Nice. It's a new day and it is super, super hot. Mark and I originally wanted to go like out of the city into the bush but um, it's just too hot today and probably not super wise being pregnant and all that, being so far away from everything. So we've decided um, we're staying in Perth and we're going down to Point Water by the river. I am now 33 weeks. Belly just keeps growing really. She's definitely getting bigger. I'm only like five to seven weeks away from giving birth. Depends on when she's making her grand entry. <laughs> but I've been doing all right. Sugars are still absolutely fine. She is a um, normal size, not too big, not too small. But I am getting a little bit more tired now. And it's getting a bit heavier. And my groins, I've got quite strong pains there. And I think I've experienced Braxton Hicks practice contractions the other day a little bit, but I'm, oh, I'm not entirely sure. I guess I'll soon know because they will come more often. <laughs> and we've been to the antenatal class, the birth class. And since then I've been very, very scared. <laughs> It'll all be just fine. Just <sighs> breathe. Anyway, we're now off to Point Water. Alrighty, Mac. I thought I told her. I told her, get over there, not to squeal. And now she's squealing again. It's almost like she hasn't fully understood. Yep. I don't mind, because I'm, I'm going to get my revenge soon. <laughs> you know? Yeah, she's growing in here. Well, here's a question for you. Yeah. How do you feel about becoming a dad? I don't really know. We'll wait and see. It's a wait and see approach. Can't get too high, can't get too low. <laughs> you know? You know? I can't be excited and anxious at the same time. Yes, you can be. I They're am. mutually exclusive. No, I am both. We'll see. Maybe she's a nice baby like I was. That's what I've heard. <laughs> that I slept through the night and didn't cry that much. Maybe she's like that. Or she's a complete beast. That's it. They didn't like what I said. What are you doing at the moment to prepare her for, <laughs> for settling down? I'm doing the singing at night. You do. Every night, um, Mark's yeah. singing songs. Yep. He makes Suzanne me sing, sing with him. Yep. Because singing we can't have any shame about singing in the family. Well, there you go. You're going to have two girls to deal with. Me. I am. And your daughter. Yep. Suzanne yeah. was being naughty today. i tell you who Sorry, really Mark. was naughty today. Mark. Now, I'm not allowed to eat cake. 
yeah, because of this diabetes thing. Now, behind me there is a cafe. Yeah. So we both got a coffee. And guess what Mark got for himself? A bit of cake. Bloody piece of vanilla slice. Do you know how long ago, you know, that's like my first bit of cake in five months or something. Well, you shouldn't I haven't have been any. Eating, <laughs> I haven't been eating any chocolates at home because it's too insulting. Yeah, but right in front of me, that was very sad. I know, but you know what I thought to myself? I thought, this is it. It's the end. Like, very soon there'll be no, like, chilling out at cafes for me. So I'm going to get that bit of cake. Now come out in the sandbar. Look, it's going all the way back there behind me. It's too sunny still for Mark, the vampire. So he's um, gone back in the shade. <laughs> but I want to have a little look. As a young girl, it feels were mine. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, play fall and free, without a care in the world. I was wondering. Alrighty, so it's yet another new day. Right now, I am off to the shops because I need to get some stuff to pack for my hospital bag which I find so confusing because I don't know what to pack and how much I need and how long I'll be in there for and I've never done that <laughs> so I've been reading little blog posts and watched little videos on YouTube so that's what I'll be doing getting a bag first of all because right now I've just got a shopping bag <laughs> I've got everything in <laughs> looks a bit like a hobo so um, I'm going to get a proper bag I'm going to get a few more items that I think I will need yeah so there you go and I've got to do some actual food shopping as well. Honestly, I do think, I know I'm pregnant in that, and you put on a bit of weight, but I do think I've been losing weight due to this new diet that I have to be on for this diabetes. Because I seem to weigh the same every week. <laughs> which, <laughs> which is weird. Because clearly the baby's growing, so the baby's putting on weight. But I'm also losing other weight, you know, like for it to stay the same. No one's concerned, she's all the right size and now we've done a gross scan and she's just a tiny little bit above absolute average, but still within normal range. But yeah, I think I'm actually losing weight. <laughs> Weird. So it's mainly a big, big, big belly. My hospital bag. I've spent all afternoon packing it. I think I've got the most essential things now for me and baby and for the livery. So there you go. I am good to go. So I've now come down to Pinaru Park and I've come here because it's full of little kangaroos and I thought I may as well go for a walk here. Hello. Well, this is just lovely here. <laughs> if those crows weren't around, they sound so ridiculous. They always sound like they're complaining. I'm sitting here with my mates, the kangaroos, just behind me there. And I'm having a pretty good time. Alrighty, that's it for today. I'll see you guys next time. Tschüss! Say tschüss!